Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new video where we are going to go over my top five tips that I think every single fiddlestick player should know before jumping into a game with the new reworked fiddlesticks. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lil Fit. I do educational content, and I do tips, videos, guide videos, and also stream here on YouTube. If you want to ask me any questions directly, you can hit me up in the comments down below or join the Discord that is going to be in the pinned comments. As I am a bit limited with this format, I am really heavily encouraging you guys to add your own tips down below as I am only going to go over five. I don't want my videos to to go over too long now finally make sure if you want to skip a certain tip or if you want to skip this intro to check the top of the page i'm going to have uh, timestamps up there at every single point if you already have a good understanding of the tip that i am covering also if you are interested in any kind of tournaments when playing league of legends i am organizing one right now through my discord that has a soft date of april 19th and it's going to have a prize pool of about a hundred dollars and we are um, looking for more players if you want to join you have a couple of friends you want to do a five-man tournament it's probably going to be a lot of lower elo players and it will be a lot of fun i'm going to be cashing it here on my stream so make sure to subscribe if that interests you at all all right with all that out of the way let's jump into the first tip all right and jumping into tip number one with fiddlesticks as with the old and with the new fiddlesticks the most important thing and one of the biggest win conditions that is going to be around fiddlesticks is his ability to control rather large objectives in condensed areas this goes for the baron pit as well as the dragon pit and really understanding that you need to take advantage of this very limited area where you are able to get off more damage than you would otherwise be able to do that would only be on one or two targets the aoe that is provided with his new kit is just going to be amazing now he doesn't have access to a sweeper now so you have to be a little bit more um just a bit more um cunning with the ways you are going to be getting vision and making sure that they are not seeing you before you are alting in on your targets this can be um just used by getting control wards or using the balloon plants are really going to help you out quite a bit to deny vision from the enemy and allow you to get in these really big ultimates that are going to do a lot of damage to the enemies and really control these objectives that are fought over quite regularly this is going to be the easiest way to carry in solo queue if you guys have any questions for me you can hit me up in the comments down below and that will wrap up tip number one all right, and getting into tip number two, I want to talk about the new E that is going to be really good, and it is going to separate the poor fiddlesticks from the good fiddlesticks in your approach to the game. Now, with the reap not or the silence not being a point and click ability anymore, where you have to hit the center of them, giving a kind of a sweet spot ability similar to um, like a Darius Q giving you the bleed and extra damage, or a Aatrox knocking you up with the Q. So, how you want to look to take advantage of the new E is looking for Gary. Guaranteed frames or higher percentage chance on your frames by doing a couple of things to the enemy that is going to allow you to hit more of these silences on the target as this is one of the most broken forms of CC disabling the enemy to uh, they aren't able to use summoners they aren't able to use items they aren't even able to ward and obviously they are not able to use their abilities in the duration of this silence so there's a couple different things you can look to do first of all if you are running a jungle fiddlesticks a chilling smite is going to be great and it's going to allow you to land more of these ease as they're going to be slower and a lot easier to hit also you can be using your terrify and waiting till the end of the duration and then looking for the silence to chain your cc for a very long time and disallowing those squishies from getting away from you when you are looking to burst them out also taking advantage of your team cc say you have something like a leona or a malzahar chaining on top of them and just really locking someone out is going to be one of the really big premier things that fiddlestick is going to bring to these different team fights now this is going to be uh you it's going to take a little bit of time to learn i am releasing this video right as the new fiddlestick rework is going on the live server so if you have any questions for me or if you found out a really good way that you'd like to use your e let me know in the comments down below and that will wrap up tip number two Okay, and getting into tip number three with Fiddlesticks, I want to talk about a very important part of Fiddlesticks kit, and that kind of goes along with this theme of being a spooky kind of champion. Taking advantage of Fog of War is going to be a huge friend. I covered this a little bit in the first part, but 
baiting enemies into a fog of war where you can set up a trap is going to be extremely beneficial when you are looking to play fiddlesticks and as he is kind of a weird looking champion he has a kind of a global taunt as something like an ivern or a teemo where he is usually squishy and kind of a weird champion people are going to sometimes focus him particularly in low elo so you can look to maybe harass people with maybe a long range e have them chase you into the bushes you can throw your ward down and when they look to chase you down you can get a really nice big alt off when you are looking to just really bait people into the fog of war there are going to be so many different traps that you can look to set up with fiddlesticks and the tricks that you're going to be able to do with his scarecrow effigy that i heavily encourage you guys to really take advantage of full advantage of his hidden ability or his hidden bonus of just really being able to set up traps quite heavily with his heavy CC and burst potential coming out of his um, crow storm and that will wrap up tip number three all right and let's get into tip number four now i think that the new rebirth build is going to lend itself to being an extremely flexible type of item build there isn't going to be one set build that is the only way to play fiddlesticks um one thing that i am extremely excited about in the current meta there are a lot of tanky champions and there are a lot of bruiser champions that rely heavily on having a lot of health stack so how you can take advantage of this when you are playing the new fiddlesticks is by taking a look at the new terrified terrified targets a target for two seconds seconds in deals 10% plus 1% per 50 AP and then if the target has recently been terrified instead deals 20% plus 2% per 50 AP now as you can see here getting off a couple of terrifies in a fight is going to be extremely effective way to shred down tanks as you can see here with the different um, ways that I am going to target the um, target dummies here the first one is going to do 1400 and then the second one is going to have a little bit of a crit symbol and do 2100 so going very heavy cdr builds is going to be an effective way to have a bit more tank shred in team fights where um previously before fiddlesticks struggled a little bit with shredding down tanks as well as you would want to so um, checking out the different um, builds you can do on Fiddlestick. You don't always want to just go that full AP one shot, which might be really good against squishies. This new kind of CDR build can be great into tanks, as well as um, a number one thing that you should always be getting on Fiddlestick, in my opinion, is the Zonias. It just provides you with so much utility and it allows you to be extremely forgiving when you are looking to alt into the middle of the team and really get off that big AoE damage. It just uh, this allows the enemy to just turn on you and burst you out and stop your ultimate from going off so always make sure you're grabbing the zonias but outside of that i don't think there is any item that is just really heavily necessarily needed when you are playing fiddle six so always again look to adjust your build when you're going against tanks maybe you want to go a little bit cdr heavy and then you might want to go a little bit more burst heavy one shot um, when you are just playing in against a bunch of squishies and that will wrap up this tip for fiddle six Alright, and getting into the final tip, I want to cover a couple of runes that I think are going to be extremely important. Let's just move over my face cam real quick, and I'm going to show you what I think are some really highly effective runes on Fiddlesticks. Now, I think these are going to be extremely flexible. I think that you can pretty much do a bunch of different builds with Fiddlesticks, but if you're a newer player and you're just looking for a base um, type of uh, rune set that you want to check out, I would heavily encourage you to try out Phase Rush. I think it is going to be really important on Fiddlesticks and it is going to be useful in both offensive and defensive situations where you can proc it either in a way where you can just get out or that you can use the phase rush to rush in and get a lot of damage off on the target it is just going to allow you to reposition yourself in very clutch in for <laughs> in very clutch um times where you are maybe ulting in or maybe you're trying to get away as you are a little bit of a squishy champion you need to be careful with your positioning and this will heavily allow it i think nimbus cloak is an amazing ability as a lot of the time when you are playing for those sticks the crow storm dash is not enough and you want to get that flash off as well and this will allow you to even further get deeper on the enemy um, teams i like celerity and water walking so there are going to be a lot of really big movement speed things that i heavily encourage you to try out when you are playing fiddlesticks now 
the sudden impact is definitely just more of a um, kind of a one-shot thing where you are looking to just get a little bit of extra magic pen as it is going to be procced when you are using your blink that is coming out of your crow storm and then obviously ultimate hunter is going to be big because fiddlesticks is heavily alt reliant to just get a lot of control around the map those are kind of my choices for runes let me know if you have a build that you really like maybe something like a little bit of a tankier kind of conqueror build or maybe that just the classic aftershock to get a little bit of um, burstiness or maybe just some comet for a little bit of extra damage this is my personal pick of runes um, make sure to uh, check them out you'll just be zipping around the map and have a lot of fun um, with little sticks uh, that will wrap up my five tips for fiddlesticks again if you are at all interested in um, joining the tournament I am going to uh, do some updates on the discord make sure to check out in the pinned comments down below it's gonna be happening on April 19th and we're gonna have a prize pool of about $100 and that will be um, just do through PayPal or I can send it to you through the um, just in RP and you just have to make sure that you are obviously on the NA servers and to sign up beforehand and let me or my moderators know on my discord as always guys take it easy